Dayton first, and then we're going to El Paso. And we'll be meeting with uh, first responders, law enforcement, uh, some of the victims, and paying my respects and regards. I'll be going with the First Lady. And it's a terrific uh, opportunity, really, to congratulate some of the the police and law enforcement. The job they've done was incredible, really incredible. What do you say to your critics? that believes it's your rhetoric that is emboldening white nationalists and inspiring this anger. So my critics are political people. They're trying to make points. In many cases, they're running for president and they're very low in the polls. A couple of them in particular, very low in the polls. If you look at Dayton, that was a person that supported, I guess you would say, uh, Bernie Sanders, I understood. Uh, Antifa, I understood. Elizabeth Warren, I understood. Had nothing to do with President Trump. Uh, so these are people that are looking for political gain. I don't think they're getting it. And as much as possible, I've tried to stay out of that. Well, I do agree, but I think we have toned it down. We've been hitting, we've been getting hit left and right from everybody. Uh, many of the people I don't know, a couple of people from Texas, political people from Texas that aren't doing very well. Uh, I guess uh, somebody said the mayor, I had one very nice conversation with the mayor of Dayton, could not have been nicer. And then she goes and says, I tried to call him. Well, I spoke to her and I didn't receive any calls. So they're trying to make political points. I don't think it works uh, because, you know, I would like to stay out of the political fray. Uh, as I was saying, and as just came out, the Dayton situation, he was a fan of Antifa. He was a fan of Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren. Nothing to do with Trump, but nobody ever mentions that. Yeah, uh, well, I'm looking to do background checks. I think background checks are important. I don't want to put guns into the hands of mentally unstable people or people with rage or hate, sick people. I don't want to, I'm all, I'm all in favor of it. Well, I can tell you that there is no political appetite for that at this moment. If you look at, uh, you can speak, you can do your own polling and there's no political appetite from it from the standpoint of legislature, but I will uh, certainly bring that up. I'll bring that up as one of the points. There's a great appetite, and I mean a very strong appetite, for background checks, and I think we can bring up background checks like we've never had before. I think both Republican and Democrat are getting close to a bill on to doing something on background checks. Mr. So you have to have a political appetite within Congress. And so far, I have not seen that. I mean, I can only do what I can do. Uh, I think there's a great appetite to do something with regard to making sure that mentally unstable, seriously ill people aren't carrying guns. And I, I've never seen the appetite as strong as it is now. I have not seen it with regard to certain types of weapons. <laughs> I am concerned about the rise of any group of hate. I don't like it. Any group of hate, I am, whether it's white supremacy, whether it's any other kind of supremacy, whether it's Antifa, whether it's any group of hate, I am very concerned about it, and I'll do something about it. George Wallace and George Washington. Well, you know, Joe is a pretty incompetent guy. I've watched his interviews. I've watched what he said and how he said it. And I wouldn't have rated him very high in the first place, but Joe Biden has truly lost his fastball, that I can tell you. Thank you. Thank you.